Hi, it's Hazel. Welcome to my channel. Um, if you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, welcome. If you think there's been an explosion uh, here at the craft table, you're right. Um, I did, <laughs> for a fleeting moment, consider cleaning up a bit. And then I thought, what is the point? Who are we kidding? I'm sure that many of you craft in this, in this sort of condition as well. Uh, these sort of conditions. Okay, this is a really, I think, uh, fun and pretty idea. And I, um, you know, I don't edit, I can't pause, blah, blah, blah. You've heard it all before. So what I did was I got a head start on um, decorating some of the uh, journaling cards and, and so on, tags, that I made uh, as a result of the Lace Masterboard. I just realized when I turned on the camera that here's a naked one that I don't have a plan for yet. So all I've done so far is cut it in, cut the, the sheet. And if you saw that video, you know that I did mine on just pretty lightweight, one-sided scrapbooking paper. Because I like that paper and because I wanted it to sort of shine through the um, the lace. You can see there are naked spots. Um, so I cut it up and I sewed around the perimeter of each of the tags. So then I started decorating. Oh, and um, depending, well, I'll show you some samples and then I'll talk about that, I guess. So uh, with this one, I just added a couple of different types of lace because I wanted this focal point to stand out. And I will uh, probably stop here with this one. And of course, you know, subject to change depending on the final use for it. I also want, maybe I should leave some of these here within sight or at least partially within sight. Let me see what you guys can see. Um, part of what I hope the takeaway message is today is that you can use any sort of thing um, to decorate with. So we've got something really old. Um, we've got the delightful illustration of, what is her name? Jessie Wilcox Smith. Uh, and you'll see that there are other styles and other, um, not genre, well, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Well, we'll just keep going and, and hopefully you'll see um, that depending, you can start with the same sort of naked base and what you choose to add to it will totally create different results. Oh, that didn't come out quite as brilliantly as I had hoped. This was done on um, the, the neutral one. I believe this was a, a freebie from uh, Pamath Paper Outpost. I backed it on to... We've seen this bag before. These are all the odds and ends, scraps, various states of disarray and disrepair. Um from a scrapbook so it's a nice aged color it's a decent weight paper and what else am I going to do with it if I don't whoa oh, that just hit the floor on the other side anyway so I backed it on that did a bit of inking oh you know one thing I didn't do is ink outer perimeters but that's okay and the reason I have all this here is because I have, wee, <laughs> I have this irrational desire to throw this up in the air. Um, anyway, a lot of different words, and of course they're two-sided, so, well, do you want reunion or do you want luggage? <laughs> and sometimes you want neither. So it takes a bit of um, time and um, digging to find the word you want. 
Anyway, so I just will need some uh, some sentiments, some words for the last few uh, tags that I intend to do with you. So that's why the mess. Okay, sweetness. Now this has turned out, okay, so there's paper, there's lace, there's paper, there's paper. I'm thinking that I'm not going to back these any further. Uh, where am I putting the dot? Oh, right here, jeez. Uh, okay, this one, I'll take the clips off. Hopefully that is dry. Okay, this is another one of the pink one, of course. Now, if you saw the video on Monday, September 4th, you know that I was doing something that I think was brilliant, if I do say so myself. Um, and there were those gauze bags. So I had cut, cut the top part off that. So I, that was kicking around. So I thought, okay, now it's miserable. <laughs> it's miserable to glue down, but that's why I had clamps. And then I just had a little tiny piece and I just made some kind of a little, I don't know, a little, a little poofy thing. Um... Again, where there's some some lace hanging over, I'm letting it go. Oh, what is this? I'm letting it go. I'm leaving it in place. If on a lace like this, it was a, a very straight edge, I've just kind of, uh, you know, made it um, a little darker, a little darker, a, a, sorry, a little irregular so that it looks you know, like we had a plan. Oh, you know what? I intended to turn some light on the subject. Let me just do that right now, if I can get at my lamp. Oh, not the warm light. Sorry. And another one on this side. Sorry, guys. Okay, so hopefully that makes things a little easier for you to see. Then there's this one. Another cute little kid illustration. A, f a floral a fussy cut. More of that same old paper, scrapbooking paper. And another sentiment. You can see there's a bit of overhang on this side, but I think that looks gro groovy. This is another one of those, uh, I think, mucha, 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 M-U-C-H-A. So that was the same as this first one I showed you. Oh, you know what? That might not be him. But there are similarities. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, those are digitals. This flower has been kicking around along, uh, along with two others, but this one worked, so I used it. Again, I... Oh, can you see that I even pulled out of the the bowels of the craft room these two Fisker's Corner Punches? Because I'm thinking, um, I didn't buy them new. I bought them at a thrift store. Why am I have? Why do I have them? Why am I storing them? And why am I not using them? So you can see that I did use one of the the uh, selections for a corner. Now this too is has gotten a bit of heft to it, so I won't add anything more. Here I backed the, the sentiment on a piece of that same paper. And again, just for a little definition, used some ink. This one has a totally different feel to it. I, let's see, three, six, eight and a half, plus these overhangy bits. So, I don't know, this is maybe too long for a belly band, unless it's, well, who knows. And I used these digitals, and these, oh, I think I put them away. Really nice. Well, anyway, I don't have time to show you now. But um, I just, I chopped off the parts I didn't want, and I thought that looks very um, classy. I did end up adding this bit of trim um, and because it wanted to fray, I just touched all the loose ends with my Fabri-Tac 
because it dries clear. And, you know, there is a bit of height to this now as well, but I love this. And I'm not going to add a sentiment. Okay, so those are the done ones. So let's see what I left for us to work on together. Maybe I'll start at the bottom. Okay, this is another one, same, same uh, kit. Uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember whose it is. Um, there was more to this, but I cut it off. And I, uh, let's see, I should be able to just glue this on with this, with our glitter glue. Whoa. So if you haven't already tried to, to make a, a um, lace master board, you do not know what you're missing. You really, 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 really should. It's easy. We've all got, I'm sure most of us have more lace than we'll ever use. It's easily obtained in thrift stores. You know, sometimes you can even find some pretty decent looking stuff at the dollar stores. They have that cotton one that a lot of people use. Uh, an old curtain of uh, something salvaged off a, uh, a garment of your own or a thrifted item. I, this needs a little more. And I think just to be on the safe side, because there is, you know, I'm gluing this down to an uneven surface. I think I'll be putting all of these things under a weight after I'm done with the video. Um, anyway, we all have some sort of a base, whether it's book page, scrapbooking paper, whatever, wallpaper, whatever your little heart desires. Um, so, oh, here's another one of those gals. This time, I, no, that crease is there, but I'm, I'll put my, I'll put my word there. I'll put something to, to disguise it. This was, is a piece of gift wrap. Really so really thin, but you can see I sort of, you know, gunged it up a bit with uh, my tattered rose and uh, gathered twigs to stress oxide. I, none of these images were really the right proportion, well, the, the proportion, no, the, they weren't big enough for the space I was planning to occupy here with them. Did I not pick a word for this one? I guess not. So I will glue this down and then, of course, have to dig through here to find uh, an appropriate word in the right color. Those are possibilities. Or I could use lady. When my youngest grandson was just learning to talk, um, he couldn't say his L's, so it was yady. <laughs> Still makes us smile and laugh when we think about yady. So when I grow up, I want to be a yady. Connection. Some of these words are not exactly... Um, anyway, let's start gluing. Maybe I'll try our glitter glue. Just because it's such a struggle with that um, fabric uh, attack. My goodness. And the bottle is, you know, seven-eighths full. It should be... F Whoa, I almost dropped that jam side down. Um, I almost... Uh, you know, like, what the heck? I haven't added, um, oh, what is that stuff for thinning it out? I haven't done that for a while. So I might have to do that, but just to have it help it flow a little better. Uh, 
Um, okay, what is the word? What is the word of the day? Oops. How about Delaware? This seems to, this set, wherever I got this from, seems to. 17th. Uh, definitely intended for a scrapbooker. What the heck? So it's got all the states. Don't want to introduce a new color. You see why I didn't turn this on when I, or the camera on when I was doing all the others? You guys would have lost your minds thinking, why doesn't she just make a decision already? Everlasting. You have no idea how much fun it is to have this flow through your fingers. Uh, devotion. <laughs> brownies. <laughs> Gotta love brownies. This is, this is bordering on the ridiculous. Uh, legendary? No, maybe not. Okay, let me pick one of these. Maybe I should use indescribable because it does have that bit of pink in the lettering which echoes what's going on there. Okay, this is glued down. We'll add this. This is my second video of the day. I'm hoping to get one more done because I need to make some headway here. I'm gonna, typically I never put anything smack dab in the middle and it isn't, it's a little offset, but it does cover more of that fold in the paper. Okay. Another one done. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, <laughs> maybe I should bring along the, the master board. Okay, so this is obviously a vintage looking woman. I backed it on. This was a dust jacket uh, from an atlas. And it's old enough that it is not really plasticized and whatever. And the paper is so cool. I was using it for backing some stuff. Look, isn't that lovely the way that is aged? And it hasn't even been that hard to make it stick down. But, oh, let me lie this baby down. Again, just because it's kind of a rough surface. Uh, if you saw a video I did the other day, you know that I had pre-stamped a bunch of things on coffee dyed um, cotton and then it hand stitched a little border around. So I thought I'd use this peony. Again, because these things are still kicking around on the desk. And honestly, it seems, or at least in my case, I don't know about you guys, but it seems like if I don't um, just randomly throw things on my desk and leave them here, you know, so much for cleaning up after every session, um, I just, I forget some of my options. And... Um, forget to use some of the things I have. Oh, beloved is good, fabulous is good. We'll see how that looks when I flip that over. Okay. I used uh, a corner punch on this one as well. And that's why I matted it, because I thought, well, what? why am I, 
if I don't mat it, that will not be visible. Oh my goodness, this is like... See, when you go for physio and they're trying to build up your... your um, your ability to squeeze and, you know, grip and so on. I don't imagine they use Fabrifix bottles, but my goodness, they could. Except patients would probably run screaming from the facility. This is crazy. I'll try not to have to use this again today or during this video anyway. So see the corners? Now the eagle-eyed among you, if I let you, if I let you really look, would see that one corner is not the same as the others because I didn't make good contact the first time. This one I put through twice, so guess where I need to hide it. Guess why I need to hide it with something like this. Maybe that's too big. Maybe I should use a B instead. How's that? It'll cover the corner and it won't be so darn big. Oh. I have a corsage pin for it seems to be clear, but my goodness. Crazy. I better just do dot, 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 dot. That's about all I can get out of there anyway, so. Uh, because I... Uh, didn't back these cards right off the bat on the one that was uh, on this one I was able to stitch down the the trim because that would have been really a lot of uh, probably a big struggle to do that gluing so I was thinking treasured because I never use any yellow ones, but maybe some of these are better. Inspiration. Beloved. Okay. I'm going to go with that. And, you know, I just usually can get as much ink as I need just out of this brush and the, all the color that's embedded in the bristles. Maybe I'll use this since I have it uncovered. Oh, now it wants to flow on something that's a quarter of an inch. Should have figured out where I want it first. And again, personal preference. Everybody does what they want. Whoops. Slid. Slid. I deliberately broke this line here by having it extend over that line. Okay, now again, whether any of these things, and I'll, and I'll line them all up at the end, um, whether any of them are totally and completely done, I do not know. Now this was another, you know, really delicate thing. I did consider fussy cutting around her like I did on some of the others, but instead I just backed it on some more of that scrapbook paper. Had this little thing that was just kicking around 
so I um, I glued it on from behind, trim, kind of tried to roughen up the edges. I think it was triangular in shape, which of course is not a great shape. Not that I'm a triangle phobe or anything. I think I'm gonna, or maybe I won't. I was gonna say I'm gonna make it flush with the edge, but maybe not. That little sliver will be fine there. Um, oh, and I don't have a word for this girl either. I was kind of running out of steam, to be honest, picking those things. I also, I hope I don't regret this. That's going to look kind of stupid. Why did I do that? Everything else, I mean, it's, it's basically mounted. Oh. <sighs> And the thing is, I didn't really even expose anything so beautiful there. Um, forgot what I was saying, because I was gobsmacked that I'd done something that dumb. Whoops. Now, I, now it looks like a mouse has been into this. Maybe I have to darken that up now. Do that crease. So clearly I'm going to need something like that. I lost my train of thought. Can we have a moment of silence for my memory? My dearly departed memory. <laughs> uh, oh, if I slide this over a little more. Then a little more of that lace shows. So same thing. I need a word here because, like I said, I was running out of steam. Uh, oh, I think I was considering brilliant. Doesn't she seem like a British girl? And you know, they love that word. Everything is brilliant. I remember when I first started watching YouTube videos, a lot of the, uh, you know, the popular and really successful ones are, are from the UK. Um, and I was never, like, I was never a, a Coronation Street fan or anything like that. So, you know, deciphering some of those those accents whoa but now I understand them as well as they do pretty cute um, pretty cute words okay and our final one um Oh, I didn't chop away at this lace, really. I just, I just try to make it a bit irregular so it doesn't look so like it, like someone cut a rectangle. Probably lop off that corner a little bit too. And maybe this. 
Okay, so what I had done here, this I love. I backed it. I tore around it. This was the very first one I started working on. And then this butterfly matches. So I, oh, here's another final piece of that gauze. If you can see how it's coming apart, like unraveling. Do I want to sandwich it under there? Could probably roughen up this edge a bit. You probably can't see a darn thing. I'm here and I can barely see what I'm doing. Okay, maybe angle it like so. Oh, see, it's not even going to be visible, but at least I don't have to throw it in the garbage. Okay, so this is just going to be held down by this baby here. I was, uh, I subscribed to the New York Times suite of uh, games, like for your phone. So things like Wordle, Spelling Bee, this new one, Connections, and of course, uh, many, well, several, but you know, there aren't enough hours in the day to do that, all that too. So basically, um, I'm kind of rattling off the ones that I do regularly, like daily, if things go well. Anyway, um, and of course, there is a New York Times crossword puzzle. Now, I am not a great crossword puzzle person. Um, you know, the Edmonton Journal, well, and they probably still do, would do a full page, no, I guess double page spread in the, in the last issue before Christmas. And then the answers would appear in the first issue after the new year. So a person had a good long time to work on. Well, I don't know that I ever finished one of those. It was, it, the idea seemed maybe more appealing than it actually was. Like, oh, this is those down days after, between Christmas and New Year's. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so these uh, New York Times puzzles are harder or easier depending on the day. So I think Sunday is definitely the hardest. Mm -hmm. I should have had that guy lower. These guys are practically touching. Anyway, um, so then I gradually started thinking, well, why don't I give Monday a shot? I mean, only when I've got, you know, some time because... Or need the, what the heck, need a mental break. I need a break from everything else that I'm doing. Anyway, this is just a long convoluted preamble to the point that I wanted to make. In today's puzzle, um... What day is it anyway? September? I think it's September 3rd today. Sunday, whatever that is. Uh, okay, what word am I going to use? One of the, one of the um, clues was, according to the Oxford Dictionary, the 2022 word of the year was, and then they sort of say uh, what it, what the, de what the definition was. And you know, in order, I gather for, in order for a word to make it into the dictionary, it has to be, you know, it has, it goes through, I guess, a process of some sort. Um, unexpected. Good enough. Um, anyway, so basically, it's actually two words. And it means sort of the, what a sad commentary is this on life. It seems to be the term that describes 
the current state of laziness, apathy, you know, don't care, don't want to get involved, don't expect much, don't, like just all these negative connotations. And the, the answer is, because I, of course, didn't know this, but I Googled it, was the, the word is goblin mode. Now, I could live to 104 and never have heard that or uh, known that because that's just kind of, that's not a, I don't know. It's just not something that would enter my realm of daily life. Boy, you know, I backed this butterfly on scrapbooking paper and it sure didn't hold worth a darn. This guy could take flight. Okay. So in case, well, I know that you're not one of those people. You're not living your life in goblin mode. But <laughs> you probably don't have to think for more than a nanosecond. Uh, to think of somebody who might be. <laughs> Hopefully they're not under your roof. Um, I'm just trying to clean up a bit so I can lay out those completed ones. Yeah, I think it seems just from watching videos and listening to what people say during their videos that most of us... <laughs> to be um, a little bit driven, a little bit workaholic, um, so I don't think there's moss growing under any of us, but unfortunately I think that goblin mode um, uh, and who knows, I mean, it doesn't make any literal sense to me to combine those two words, but um, I'm just thinking that is a sorry state of affairs, in my humble opinion. Maybe I can get rid of this thing for the time being. Sorry, oh my god, I'm picking up all kinds of debris here. Oh, this is embarrassing. I'm sure you never have this kind of stuff on your desk. Oops, don't want to get rid of my little birds. Okie dokie. And then we'll find that there isn't room for all of this stuff anyway. But we'll lay out as many as we can. And I just noticed that I only put a tab on one of these things. This guy here. Um, I dare not lift the camera because then you'll see more than, <laughs> than you're prepared for, perhaps. You know what? Why am I doing this to you anyway? Maybe I'll do this. Find the sweet spot. And try not to quiver. If you're so inclined, maybe I should do it this way. If you're so inclined, you can tell me in the comments what your favorite was. Oops. Sorry. You know, um, if you watch Carrie 
Paper Monkey or Diane, per, uh, Pretty Pink Cottage. They are constantly using... Um, oh, this is the naked one. Still forgot to get something for it. They are always use Not always, but obviously use... Um, Ch child images or children children's images from from vintage books and so on and I keep thinking to myself I love that look so much why am I not doing that so that's why I threw two token kids into this here's another one two token kids into today's project oh and you know what I was thinking about this when I was cutting that girl out House and her, the name on the bag is Alice. Isn't it a sad state of affairs that Alice can knit better? Alice, at the tender age of six, eight, can knit better than Hazel can. At the tender age of... <coughs> Different feel to that one for sure. Gonna put this guy down because he's tall. Like that one. Well, I mean, I like them all. And we'll end on brilliant. I hope that you do a lace masterboard or four. I hope that you um, then have as much fun decorating them as I did mine. Um, if you want to see another video on uh, somebody's um, tape on decorating, then uh, you should check out, um, now is it Wishes and Weeds or Weeds and Wishes? Anyway, Nancy's channel. Um, she too was smitten with the idea of lace master boards and, you know, of course got right on it, did a couple and quickly decorated hers. So there you have it. Thanks so much for joining me. I will be doing a minimum cleanup and then on to the next video. Gotta keep the, keep the show uh, going here. Anyway, thanks so much, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.